Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. Today I am quite excited. We're playing the Thaumaturge. Now I played a demo for this. Oh god, a while back. But um, we are going to start from the beginning anyway. So we'll probably, well we will play through the demo content again. So uh, this will be done in s several videos because I think this game is like, I don't know, it's got some insane like 25 hours or something. If you're do all the side quests and everything. It's our big game. So this is part one. I'm very looking forward to this. I love turn-based combat. I love choices matter. I love a dark topics. I love EP creepiness and this has got everything. I really like the demo. I thoroughly enjoyed the demo. So we're finally playing the full release. So I hope you enjoy this video. And if you do as always, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And before we start, I just want to thank everybody that has subscribed and everyone that's subscribed lately. We are officially at 40. <laughs> now I know to a lot of people be thinking 40 is not a lot. In the grand scheme of YouTube, it's, it's not a lot. But I didn't think more than 10 people subscribe. I started the channel mainly because I was going through a lot in my life. And I was going through a lot of surgeries. And I mean, I'm still, I've got four surgeries to go. And it was, I thought it would be a good way to occupy my brain in between surgeries and in recovering and uh, I love gaming gaming's been an escapism for me since well since I was like 17 it's been a massive escapism for me it's helped me through a lot so that's the main reason for the channel but everyone that subscribes thank you without any further ado let's play the Thaumaturge I've rambled enough Thaumatar is a word deriving from Greek it means miracles a thaumaturge, or a tempermancer, is one able to discover secrets lingering in the persons or places. They recognise flaws or stigmas imprinted on the human psyche and can bring them to the surface. Are they a doctor of souls? Doctor of souls, that sounds really good. It is impossible to fully name the essence of a thaumaturge without being born one. Alright. Thank you. Oh, I'm excited. For years I've been seeing you in my dreams. Ligia! And lately, more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I forgot. It's a post story. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. What I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. Never mind. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. Woody, though. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health. Just as you requested. Good. Where are we going? He doesn't know your intention. And with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know too good, you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers... Preachers and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. No. But if not, remember that in the end, we will find a way to help you. Mm. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Agreed. With a lot of things. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have. 
Rikia. Rikia. I don't actually know if it's pronounced the same as a post story, but it looks the same. But there's a post story called Ligia, 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 however you pronounce it. One of the best, most beautiful story. I don't know if that's just a coincidence. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Why? What do you mean? Yes, thank you. Because I look like shit. You're not looking your best. Yeah, I'm aware. Thank you. I'm not feeling my best. Cheeky twat. What's your message? Uh, first plate. Well, I mean, he is being a twat, but we're not going to play a trick. But too early in the day for this. Uh, let's just dictate our message. Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. End payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? Yeah, fuck you. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, send greetings to your sister. Aggravate your father. <laughs> yes. Send greetings to your sister. She sent us a lovely message. Please add my love to you, my sister. Hmm. Touching. Fuck off! <laughs> From they fucking asked you, did they? My name is Viktor Shulsky. S Z U L S K I. And Viktor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw. Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere, on every map. Maps change. I know, I know. Ooh. Let's get on with it. Oh, yeah. Nothing. Pardon? Nothing. <laughs> I anything. was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney. Now nah, then! I could have played a trick on you. <laughs> and I didn't find the miracle work in the village. Oh, look at the graphics. Uh, you can move freely. Oh, we can, look. Lost letter. Dear Antoni. It feels like ages have passed since your last letter. Or maybe it's just the winter that makes everything good and warm seem distant. As you can guess, the life of an exile does not spoil me. Years ago, I was uprooted from my homeland and sent to a foreign land among foreign people to fight under the Russian banner. And how am I today? I live among people who hate me. I am losing my health, my mind, and cultivating the land that I fertilize with the blood and flesh of its sons. And I can't leave here. I can't stop reminiscing. Death seems to be my only means of escape. Please pray for me. P.S. I don't think this letter will make it through the censorship, but if it does, please tell An Anelka that the thought of her brought me solace until the very end. Oh, that's so sad. I wonder if they will ever see each other. Dijanko. Please stop with the gentry snobbery and listen to me. Or listen to what I tell you. Times are changing. You can no longer rely solely on property ownership. The peasants are different now, and it's not all clear. And it's not at all clear how things will turn out in the coming years. You just have to look. Wherever you turn, you will hear revolt. You will hear about revolts and peasant guerrillas going to the laws with pitchforks. We have to protect ourselves. Have something on the side, some business that will allow us to live with dignity. That's why I'm telling you for the last time, go to the bank in Tiflis and take a loan against half of our assets in the Cau Caucasus... something. Invest in the oil business in Baku. The railroad is already get the railroad is already getting there and the world needs kerosene. You need to act! I will send you all the documents and authorizations, don't delay. Okay. Perception! 
As a thaumaturge, you possess exceptional perception. You can see things that are hidden from sight. You can anticipate the enemy's actions. You can follow traces of emotions, thoughts, actions and words. And you can reach your goal easier. Ooh. Use right mouse to use perception to follow your path to goal. Look at the graphics, sir! Fucking hell, man. What's that? Yes, uh, also, I like this. I like to read all the lore. I will read all the lore. So if that annoys you, I'm sorry, but it's going to happen anyway. <laughs> the tragic events of August 29th have cast a shadow on the city of Tiflis, leaving it in deep mourning. Yesterday's rally, where reform proposals set out by Minister Alexander Bulyugin were to be discussed, was brutally interrupted by Kasak. Cossack. <laughs> oh my god, it's going to be a long day. I was brutally interrupted by Cossack's troops that stormed inside the municipal board building. Armed Cossacks entered the conference room, wreaking havoc in the turmoil. 60 people were killed and over 100 were injured. People are shocked at another instance of unjustified aggression against the nation of Georgia. Many believe more mass strikes are inevitable. Off with you, I've got work to do. <laughs> You better be. You better get a proper honest job. Oh, the gossip! I like being nosy. Should have packed dried meat. Mm, yeah, maybe should have. Look at the graphics! Fucking Jesus! Gorgeous. Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's all. A horse can't go any higher. Hmm. The village is what interests me. Got to look like shit. Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. Oh. Well, that's very nice. Say thank you and get in. Ask if there's a healer. Uh, just get in. I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. Well, thank you. That's very nice. Prologue, hoping for the better. Well, what's going on with their arm? You see that? <laughs> Nothing to see around here. <sighs> this is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there, past the little square, up the steps. They'll tell you where the preacher's at. Or this time of day, he'll be there himself. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Oh god, the graphics are well nice. Oh yeah. Uh, well, that's life in the countryside for you. Look at the graphics! I'm sorry, but they look fucking well nice. Uh, what? Oh yeah. Uh, look at the town on this one. What have we got here? What are you selling? Potatoes or are they fucking onions? Can't quite tell. Oh my god, what the hell does that say? <laughs> Soon the day will come when people will throw off their hated shackles. With one stroke of the mighty arm, hardened by work and struggle with misery, they will get rid of the despised Tsar. As a recent event so agonising for many be a torch that will kindle the flame of a just revolution. It will only take a few people to, rise their, to raise their heads proudly and abandon their work. Or for the flame to become an inferno that will consume the oppressor and cleanse our lands. It is already happening. Workers in major cities are preparing for action. And the country folk are also joining the fray. The hour of trial is upon us. Let us not lose heart. It goes well with the tune of La Marseille. What does? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm uncultured, I don't know anything. <laughs> well, well, a rich fellow. Who is? You're talking about me, I'm not fucking rich. Who are you? Gentlemen, is this the tavern here? Hey, Putnik. You coming from far? Indeed, I'm tired. <laughs> nice boots. Are they warm? 
uh, a proud answer. It not only draws from your flaw of pride's level, but it also feeds it even more. Uh, you're not looking for trouble, so you're just passing through. Show no fear! Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. Yes. And sooner or later, these might kick their arses. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. I got to sort out formalities with this tourist. Is your Znami. We are the Tsar soldiers. Okay. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. Ha! Agreed. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. Oh, we're gonna have a punch up. Oh yeah, all right then. Uh, victory conditions: when your enemies lose all their health points, you win the fight. Oh well, yeah, I mean, how else is it to have a fight? <laughs> okay, yeah, we know this. We're not new. We're not new. Look at him! Look at him! What are you gonna do with those fists? Yeah. Oh yes, look at this. Look right here. Quick attack. Planned attack. Slow. Can I just go straight in with a quick attack? Oh, yes. Oh, in the gut. Oh, I forgot how much I like this fighting. Uh, okay, let's do a long one. Oh. That's it. Get down and stay down. Uh, actions Q. Perception allows you to anticipate the enemy's actions to find out what they are planning. Unfold the actions Q at the top of the screen. Each skill has its own speed. Slower skills are more powerful but quite preparation. Ah, bring in the, bring in the risk of an enemy attacking first, I see. So if you do a quick attack, they can't hit you first. What did it say about the top of the screen? I don't know. Uh, let's go quick attack. Ah. Yes. <coughs> We're not in the armpit. Uh, I'm going to do a planned attack. I want to kick his ass. Oh, the kidney! <laughs> Look at him! Yes! Oh, I like that! the Ruskius right. Yeah. They won't report us. No. Nope. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. <laughs> cripple? I'm not a cripple. What are you talking about? Look at him! Yeah! That was fucking satisfying, I'll tell you. Everything will freeze, and there won't be anything left. No, no. <gasps> There's a dog! Oh, good boy. He's a good boy. Why is he outside in the cold? Get him in the fucking tavern in front of a fire. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Little dog shouldn't be outside. I don't have a dog, so I'm going to keep it outside. Oh, listen to him! Get him in, fucking get him in here. Give him a, something to lay on. <laughs> uh, find the miracle worker in the tavern. Oh, these graphics are nice. <gasps> oh, what's this? I like to be nosy. News from Yerevan. Our correspondents reported that the newly appointed governor general of the Yerevan province, Prince Napoleon Louis Joseph Jerome Bonaparte, has just arrived in town. The highest officials are present at the welcoming ceremony, followed by a dinner with representatives from Yerevan's most eminent families. The Governor General's address to the townspeople is expected in the next few days. Alright. I bet it's what? The old lady can't see me like that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hello. Can I go around here? Oh yeah, this booze warms me guts all right. I was afraid my hubby was here too, instead of working the field. 
Why aren't you working the field? Well, bottoms up. Uh, well, uh, talk to you then. Rasputin! Oh, yes. Could burst into song, but I won't. Good old Boney M. <laughs> Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? Rasputin. I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for a very long time and... And you expected a stinking simpleton. <laughs> the literate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. Well... <laughs> I already said I forgive you. I'm not saying you yes, forgive I me. Have. I'm not sorry. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings. Even hopeless cases. Inexplicable ones. And what do you believe in? Nothing. <laughs> uh, so you believe in his mir miraculous... I don't believe in anyone miraculous power does such thing. Uh, I want to see it for myself. If you help me, I'll believe all of it. And please believe me when I say I've tried everything short of a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? Explain how you tracked him down. I'm from Warsaw. So, from Russia. Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulski. On my path. I've already come across people who have lied to me about their problems and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived with pitchforks and torches and I had to endure insults and spit in my face or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Oh, well, forgive it my be, amusement. It can't exist, I haven't can it? had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. Oh, fucking hell, am I supposed to do that? I can't remember. I, I don't remember the demo. It's some time ago now. Uh, except... What would you like me to do, sir? I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. First, right. I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. Hmm. It's a sort of pattern I will use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. <laughs> A dog. Prayer beads. Time worn prayer beads by thirty with thirty woolen knots. The zeal gushing from the beads impregnates the wool better than the tallow from the owner's strong fingers. The object pulses with a mixture of blue rapture and blue passion and graphite fierceness. The touch of the beads burns, but it also tracks. Hmm, trace certain. Draw conclusion. Rasputin's wish. Rasputin has a magnetic zeal and passion. He is a man with an attractive personality, strong and fierce, who is easy to follow. One just has to be careful not to get burned by the flame of his ardour. Really? Say that you've got everything you need. I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. Sarcasm. Observations. Observations are information that you acquire by interacting with people and items. Observations make up conclusions, a valuable source of knowledge about the world and events that can help you in different situations. Uh, perceptions, perception and objects. Thaumaturges possess perception which allows them to read other people's emotions actions, words, and thoughts left on items. In order to recognize them, you must develop the heart, deed, word, and mind dimensions sufficiently. 
traces. On some items, you will find a trace of someone's personality. It takes one of three forms. Unknown, you see it for the first time. Familiar, you have seen it before, but you are not certain who it belongs to. Certain, you know exactly who left it. And traces are only re revealed once you pass the test of perception on one item. Let's take a look around. Right. Oh, what's that? I failed. Dirty bowl. A dirty bowl that someone has eaten stew from. Dimension force too low. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought there were it's such terrible. layers of passion within him? Oh. It vibrates with a languishing moan of delight. Oh, that wording! It vibrates with a languishing moan of delight. The touch of silk, the scent of courtly powder, but, but, that's, but that which is soft and warm is also pierced by the thorns of impending separation and longing. Oh, that sounds so good! Oh, the writing! I love it. Fucking hell. Rasputin's passions. Who would have thought that this priest had such passion? Surprisingly, the mask of a healer conceal conceals an outstanding lover. Do we fancy him or something? Irresistible to women's hearts and bodies. I mean, okay, if it floats your boat, I suppose. Perhaps this is one of his healing methods. What is? What, shagging him? <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, fine. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Search a tavern and find... Oh, yeah, we're doing that. Hair cloth. A pen, pen, penitential device for voluntarily self-mortification of the body. What? See if there's anything here I can else I can click on. Hey, uh. I wonder if when we've got our levels up, we can come back and read them. If you, I mean, if you're a completionist and you care, I suppose. What have you learned, wizard? Well. You're a zealous man. Mm. It permeates every level of your personality, a good lover, your faith, apparently. your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. Wait. I haven't finished yet. Yeah. In Petersburg, you left behind a very devoted and very young lady in waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. Give me a break. My ass. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? Tell him what problem you've got. I don't care about the lady in waiting. I don't care less. <sighs> a few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. Oh. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind... I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. What? Ah. Yeah. I'm not prepared to beg for anything. I've got money, if that's what matters. Yes. Give it to the needy. Your riches mean nothing to me. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Well, you better fucking start now. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. Yeah. We can try. We can. Focus on my voice. Okay. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, 
You are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Hey, sweaty. Let me. Well, where am I? Shadows of Rasputin. sin's past. Find the way. No one in here. Oh, oh yeah. I need to get out of here. Yes. Yeah. What is this sound? Shackles? Shackles? Why are we hearing shackles? You're blind. Who are you? You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Oh, this is our Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. Fuck off. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. Fucking charming. <laughs> Fuck you, father. Do you hear me? Do you? Sadly, do yes. you? Not fucking deaf. What in the tits is that? I can see, Father. Clearly. Oh, look. That's really fucking cool. Oh, hello. <laughs> Will hell, you be man. lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. <laughs> this game is insane. I love it. Sorry, love. Uh, yeah. Where's Rasputin? <laughs> In the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. Mm. You all right? Oh, we look better. We're not sweaty and veiny. Yes, yes. Absolutely. I wanted to sweep. <laughs> all right. I'm just heading out. <sighs> Don't mess with her. It's so good to see you again. And something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. Wild. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. We gotta find them. You talking to me? I no. was praying. I wanted to sweep. Fuck's sake. Find the person with the floor that the wild salutor is seeking. Alright, uh, yep, 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 yep. We can leave now, we can leave. I'll let you sweep. Oh no, my bad. Leave. Multiple objectives. Quests have multiple objectives. Freely switch for the one you like to track. After switching, the objective will reveal a path to follow. Sometimes this path is so mysterious that it eludes even an experienced thaumaturg. No worries. The remaining objectives will provide a way to solve the quest. Boots covered in shit. Oh. Look at the dog! Uh, so we'll do this first. Someone with a floor. Oh, can we speak to her? I felt Hello. something. They're a gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, 
There's nobody to be found. Maybe not talk to yourself, the way. Want some help? Hmm. Just touch people's apples. Yeah. That's not yours. Don't touch. <laughs> All these newcomers causing more problems. You don't just grab people's apples out their baskets, weirdo. Did your mother teach you no manners? Manhandling people's fruit. A bruised crimson apple. Vesna was trembling. Dropped a fruit basket and left this orphan behind. Orphan? Vesna has left her distinct trace on the fruit. It, it consists of a heart fluttering in panic and a throat painfully clenched. A bite of this apple would taste of pure fear. Ooh! Alright. Oh, we've got a, uh, I see, we've got a, a ring of the, uh, that on the map. Here's an idea that I can look at. We've got geese lot. What's going on here? Thaumaturgy never oh. fails me. What's that? A dead goose. A dead goose. Someone or something strangled this goose. Who strangles a goose? From the goose's twisted neck flows the anger and passion of the person who slaughtered the poor bird. The wave of emotions carries no desire for meat or feathers, only the sour taste of envy and the desire for all of Bogdan's property to go to hell. Over my dead body. I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much, and he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers, a witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir. This liar and thief here stole a memento of my mother. And this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too? Because you strangled mine. Now what do I care about some trinkets your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? Oh god. Conflicted neighbors. A dead goose lies between the quarreling peasants. The obvious bone of contention here. If the wise woman is to settle the dispute, she'd better do it quickly. It will come to fisticuffs! <laughs> oh my god, I haven't heard fisticuffs in ages. Neighbourly disputes. It seems that the neighbours quarrelled over a goose strangled in an act of revenge. A classic of the genre. Why don't you relax and listen to the words of a wise woman? Well, all in all, it's... I'm sorry, Bogdan. Come inside, and tell me what you're doing here. Oh! Uh. Oh! that? Salt on the doorstep. Salt on the doorstep protects from unwanted visitors and other misfortunes. Yeah, like demons! Oh, uh, let's go inside. Diary of, of an oblate priest. They say that every nation has its demons. Its phantoms, ghosts and nightmares were created to make naughty children behave. But I have gone halfway around the world preaching the word of God and learned the truth. These demons, fiends and devils cursed by God are real. And they are everywhere. In distant, in distant Serbia, people whispered the names Bukovac. A cruel beast whose, whose presence brings wrath and commands people to inflict violence on their neighbours. A fairy tale, you say? 
But I have seen Bukovac here in Pyre. Oh, Jesus. I heard the rattle of his chains. Ah! Chains, rattle of chains, that's what we heard. And felt his fangs digging into my neck and tugging at every fibre of my soul. And I felt the fury that this wrath brings with it. The anger from which there was no escape. The, the taste of the taste of blood in my mouth that no prayer can erase. May the holy walls of the oblate church stop this beast. Blessed Virgin, keep you safe. Oh, oh, I like that. What were you sniffing around for? Unfinished letter. So so, my dear son, my heart is crying. Have I harmed you so that you write with? My dearest son, my heart is crying. Have I harmed you so that you write about me like this? That you renounce your legacy, your land and your blood? I never said a word to you when you refused to farm with us, nor when you went to Tiflis to, to study, and now you're calling us stupid, backward. You repeat after the rector of yours, Kzudeki, that Georgian, your language, is the language of dogs, and you want to write to me only in Russian. Child, Georgia... Georgia flows in your blood. She is the salt in your tears and the glue in your bones. You will not renounce her. You can't. Oh boy. Anything in here? The villagers seem to have a certain respect for you, ma'am, so I wanted to ask your help with something. I'm not getting any younger, boy. Talk before I drop dead. <laughs> Oh, we uh, can't say everything. Accuse her of taking advantage of the superstitious villagers. No, no, we don't know that. We aren't going to jump to conclusions. Uh, okay. Well, we'll then, come back later. I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, madam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to come back to her. Because uh, we can't say everything there is to be said. Sensing carved wooden, a hand carved and elaborately printed, painted wooden box. Ah, oh, dimension too low. Wait, wait. What's this? Oh, we got points. Oh. Wait a minute. Uh, on the grimoire's cover, there are available thaumaturgy points that you can spend on the tree. Purchase skill upgrades, improve your powers within any dimension, and hunt salutors to enable further development. Oh, now then, we've got a skill tree! Now, this is what I'm talking about. A fucking skill tree. Okay. Uh, what about here? Hmm. Ah. Okay. <gasps> Can I have that? Right, uh, floor. Many people with flaws. Many people have flaws, but only thaumaturgs are aware of their existence. These are blemishes on a personality created as a result of turbulent experiences. They attract salutors and allow young thaumaturgs to make a pact with their first salutor. Your flaw is pride. If you nurture it by making the right choices, it will impact the course of events in the future. Ooh, right, okay, so we always, we pick it. Okay, I see. Okay, so we have to feed it. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay. Inflicts damage and, and restores your health. Okay, we've got points. Hearts. Uh, this upgrade enables using perception in the dimension mind. Oh, what was it? Oh, it didn't say what. I can't. Uh, uh, oh, we've, oh, I see. We've got these. 
Gamble gives a 60% chance of dealing double damage. Uh, this upgrade adds a point of damage in heart. Right, uh, reduces focus by one additional point if the enemy is in the suffering state. Mm, gives 50% chance of interrupting the enemy's planned action. Yes. Skill upgrades. Each skill can be upgraded. Place the upgrade in the designated spot on the skill icon. Each upgrade takes some space. Choose wisely. Uh, do we want that to do double damage? Because that's the highest, right? Uh, can I? Can I do that yet? Why is that over there? Uh. I guess. Uh, right, yeah, totally good. Can we do that yet? Ah. Uh. The box is marked with words of love, sweet as kisses. The names of Vesna and Luca intertwine, cuddling tenderly against the wood, against the delicate carvings, trying to protect them from the damp and rain, from all the evil in the world, from all the evil the world carries with it. <gasps> this shards. Ooh, point gained. The broken ceramic trembles with anger and frustration. The quarrel erupted suddenly, spewing out bile of mutual complaints and grievances. Its sweet and pungent taste stupefied. Compelled, screaming, finger pointing and hurting. The frenzy lasted until it all involved were out of breath. Oh, jeez. Damage axe shaft. A damage axe shaft, the trace it bears, does not belong to Vesna. Although it's already become mouldy from disuse, it carries the memory of the spirit of the one who wielded it. A loner by choice, with a disposition as tart as juniper berries. The shaft is overgrown with the thorns of bitter words, but there are others, warm, delicate as rose petals. They betray, they betray a love for someone who's not afraid of thorns, a love that is difficult, but not accepting of violence. Trace familiar, impetuous person. Domestic squabbles. In this house lives a married couple who do not mince their words. They argue violently, loudly, until they are out of breath. And but they persist together despite everything. Why? I don't understand that. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. I'm telling you, go away or I'll call for help. Help! Help! Somebody help me! Stop it. What oh, are you geez. doing here, you tramp? I'm <laughs> not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right. Oh, oh, oh come on then. Fucking come on now! Oh, wait! I've got a point first. Um, this upgrade allows you to manipulate the dimension. Oh no! Yeah, why is that there? Ah. Oh. Perfect efficiency. 
Perfectionism, perfectionism uh, self-cast makes every attack on the enemy deal the maximum possible damage. Um, mental defense uh, makes you lose focus instead of taking damage. Uh, I think we need to be able to restore our focus. To be frank. Start the fight! Strong attacks and focus. In order to launch a strong attack against an enemy, you must take away all of their focus. Uh, causing them, oh I see, to enter the breakdown state. Strong attacks are much more powerful than other skills and allow the fight to end quicker. Alright. Select the diversion skill to lower an enemy's focus. Uh, you and your salutor each have your own separate set of skills. Plan which you want to use and give the salutor an appropriate command. Uh, oh no, I wanted him to do it to him. Uh, strong attack opportunity. The enemy has lost all their focus and is now in the breakdown state. It is a great chance to launch strong attack. Right. In the gut. Oh yeah, 24 damage, baby. Two damage is all you got. Intoxication. Uh... Ha -ha! <laughs> yes. Oh, this is good. I like this. Yes! Oh, I'm unstoppable! The devil sent you. Nah. You could say that, sure. Mm. <laughs> uh, the village residents, in th if thinking interferes with their actions, so much the worse for thinking. The locals are impetuous, irritable, and eager to pick a fight for even the most trivial reason. Something is not right here. Excuse me, I need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery. It's not like anyone there is going to run away. <clears throat> and look, my horse is more dead than alive. Oh, the poor horse. 
Coachman doesn't want to take me to the cemetery. If I use my power, I should be able to change his attitude. Well, I can't. Something eludes me. I'll be right back. Manipulate. Using thermometers, you can manipulate other people. First, you must you must know a person's secrets, which you can learn by making conclusions. If the, <laughs> if the manipulation is available, the character's interaction icon will will change, and the upie will uh, appear next to the character. Shovel. The shovel still showed traces of mud and ice. The coachman had to free the wagon. The wagon's wheels from the soft soil that had engulfed them. Rag. The coachman used the rag to wipe the sweat from his forehead. The rag reeked with the sour odour of fatigue. Attempts to free the wheels from the soft soil made the spine made the spine crack like a fishbone, and the muscles burn with fire. And no one would help. Such was his job. Such was his fate. Oh my word. The coachman is tired and weary. He's worked hard at unloading the wagon alone, and all the on all he dreams of is a moment of rest. I can relieve his suffering. Uh, manipulate the coachman. I'm not going anywhere. You are. Make the coachman's fatigue go away. Maybe you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. Oh, look! Well, on the other hand, this place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery, and I meant to take the horse out for a ride, so get on. Thanks. Let's click on this one because I don't understand why that wasn't. You're alive. Does that mean I helped, Thalmatur? Yes. I don't have enough words uh, to thank you for what you've done for me. I haven't felt this way in years. I'm glad I could help. When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying for rest for Vasily's soul. The whole village is suffering after his loss. He was the elder here. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. You see, to them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other yuffiets. Uh, Doom. The locals say that since the death of the village elder, a doom has hung over the village. Minor quarrels immediately turn into bloody fights, and people are tense and withdrawn. Things are not looking good. Tell him they might be right. Ask the woman about the ill fortune hanging over the village. As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a salutor. That's what might be influencing the villagers in Wailing at night. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking about a train. What? The wise woman was saying the evil spirit is a book of hatch. Well, she's right. Does the creature hunting you rattle chains, slither around, and have a mouth full of giant fangs? A book of hatch. Where did this elder live? I'll show you. Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest for today. Amen. Superstitions. A woman in a cemetery claims a village is haunted by a leech. 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 I've never known how you say that. 
His name is Bukovac. A peaceful and happy village? Not quite. The villagers are riled up and at the point of breaking, laying the blame for their troubles on the actions of a Bukovac. They are trying to defend themselves against this dark force with folk methods. Vasily died only a year ago and his tombstone has clearly been damaged. <gasps> deed, we need another deed. Point. go there right now. Yeah I do. Fuck it. Travel. The load screens are so short. That pleases me. What do you expect to find in this place? The fire was almost a year ago. Ah, you'll be surprised. Yeah. Time doesn't matter much here. I'm looking for clues and personal traces that will lead me to whoever's carrying the floor. Ah. That lured the salutor here. We need to do this before we can... I see. I, see. I thought I could be helpful to you, but... I don't really understand what you're telling me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Ask why he came with you. Above all, flaws are deeply hidden marks left in human souls. They form under the influence of tragic events. What does that have to do with salutors? Is that Latin? Yes, from the word newcomer. People have always taken salutors to be spirits, demons, or imps. Like from those fairy tales, the wise woman and the other old crones tell the locals. Sometimes, those sorts of fairy tales and legends describe how humans perceive a salutor. They don't take a physical form. Salutors are attracted to the flaws hidden within people. Thaumaturges discover these flaws inside someone, bring them to the surface, and adopt them to lure the salutor. Those are the moments when I've usually failed. I haven't been able to hold on to a salutor. I didn't know how to bind one to myself. What about you? Do you have a flaw? I bear the flaw of pride. I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> and now? That's sarcasm. Thanks right? to your help, I can once again discover people's flaws and the salutors hiding behind them. And I think I'm now able to catch my second salutor. Huh. Who will remember? If I do manage to catch another salutor, that would be a very rare occurrence, in fact. An ordinary thaumaturge wouldn't even try more than once. Only a few have multiple salutars. Why? Uh, <laughs> oh, I can feed the pride, yes. Because they're afraid. Like the ones who claimed the humans wouldn't learn to fly or even reach the pole. But the failure of others doesn't mean those people are right. It means a mistake was made somewhere. Isn't this exactly the sort of thinking that caused your problems that led you to me? That doesn't matter anymore. Then what's changed? This time, I've got you with me. That's not... I'm not confident that's going to help. People always leave behind individual bits of their personality, even on everyday objects and such. I can decipher the thoughts and actions imprinted on these objects, 
and then match them to their owner. This lets me gather immense knowledge about a person, especially if I need to find someone. What else can you do? A lot. Why did you want to come here with me? I have never gotten to know a Thaumaturge so closely. Hmm. I'd like to learn as much as possible about your abilities. Would ya? I need to look around this place a little more. I won't stop you. Let me look around outside before I go in. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. Hmm, I said misery. Yeah. True fear. Oh. Ragdoll. What got a point? A charred ragdoll appears old. The doll is caked with a hard crust of fear. Its layers are like the varnish on an old age painting. A child's fear, a girl's terror, a young woman's dread. They form a cocoon smelling of turpentine that constricts the throat and forces tears on the eyes. Uh. Tracer and Vesna. Inside. Door frame. I destroyed door frame by some miracle. It survived the fire. Thick lines of the wood grain are visible on the frame. They arrange themselves into words carved sharply, as if by a chisel. They scream about an attempt to break down the door, about the hinges finally letting go. They scream into a space that doesn't respond. Fear has embedded itself deep into the fabric of the doorframe. Fear of the flames and trepidation about losing a loved one. Oh, I love the writing! So good. A horrible death. Place of death. Dried blood stain. It has soaked deep into the burned boards of the house. The blood sounds like suffering. It flowed quickly. The wound inflicted with the scissors wasn't large, but it was accurate. Life left the body, the heart went into a spasm, and the mind recognised the end. It lasted for some time, and then the flames came, and the pain resounded anew. <gasps> That's so good. <laughs> it is, though. I love that. Is that it? Oh. This house was always full of fear, and its owner was still alive when the house got fire. Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. Oh. oh my god, there he is, Lord. The murder gave birth to the flaw that you attached to, didn't it? I'll find you when I track down the murderer. I know who owns this doll. Maybe I should give them back to her. Ah. She ought to know more about what happened here. She ought. Vesna's trace. The same trace can be felt on the ragdoll and the item dropped by the woman. Uh, Vesna smells of fear. Her nerves are badly strained. Her heart is trembling. Her fingers are stiff from anxiety. And her mind wanders, lost in the wilderness of fear. I may be able to find her home and discover what's behind her jittery condition. Ah! So now we can move on with that. Victor! I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Because I think it's time to get out of here. Why the hurry, father? We're the Tsar's men. How about the donation for the Tsar's army? Fuck your fucking army! There are army. no Russian outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. <laughs> You're the guy who trashed our comrades? The fucking boots. 
Oh, yes. Say yes, uh, and you'll do it again. I can do exactly the same yep. to all of you. Yep. He's not as weak as he looks. He actually looks better than he did the other day. Ah, I do. But not counting the priest. He's still long. Not wrong. anymore, I'm not. <laughs> you're fucking wrong, you're fucking wrong, you're fucking wrong. Oh, wait, point first. Um, I think I need... Oh, I need the deed to, 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 for something at the uh, thingy. Uh, cemetery. Oh, we've got upgrades. Uh, reduces focus by one additional point if the enemy is in a suffering state. Oh, it stores your focus. I guess stuff that on there for now. Start the fight! Look at him! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do that. And you're gonna. You're gonna do that. So satisfying the sound. Oh, pal. Yes, I got a bit of health. You mate, I'm gonna do that. And you're gonna just do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Have it. Are you alright, sir? <laughs> Me? Yes, but can these salutors also help you in a fight? Yeah. Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're alright, sir? Call me Grigori. <sighs> Let's head back. We're at first name I basis, have to visit guys. Someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here. Oh yes, baby, I'm gonna light this game. I love, love turn-based combat. I'll go back to the village. Ah! Wait. I want to go to the cemetery first. Because there was, um... I wonder if I can do that now. Put a point on the thing. Ah. Uh, yes. Stone strikes against stone. Heavy, guided by a hateful hand. The blows carry anger, despair, chaos. The tombstone cracks and crumbles, but that's but it's not enough. Death is not enough. Vandalizing a grave is not enough. Nothing will ever be enough. I want all the law. Village. And now 
we can go back to Bezla. I wonder if now, wait, I want to know, <laughs> I want to first see if the old woman's got out to say to us that's going to help. Let's take a look around. Well, you didn't say that before. Ah. Oh. Saint's icon. A hand-painted icon. I think this is Saint Thecla, the Martha. The wise woman's hands hover around the saint's head. They arrange themselves into gestures, subtle, pure snowflakes. Words of the spell sparkle like stars and sincerely beseech heaven for protection. For a girl who, for a girl who suffers evil on earth, who suffers too much of it? Who suffers too much of it? Anything else? No. Can I speak to you now then? You've been going in so many circles, your head will spin. Ah. You cursed him, didn't you? Vesna's father. You put some hex on him, right? A spell. I help people, yes. Vesna had a problem with her father, and believes in curses, spells and hexes. Is that all? Because, like I said, I don't want to waste time and die here gabbing with you. Vasily had a dark side. A man who was a rock for the entire village became an abuser at home. He tortured Vesna for many years, turning her life into a nightmare. Oh my god, well he's dead. Well then, I hope you'll still he be alive when I get dead. back, madam. We're not having that today, thank you. Absolutely fucking not. Give me a fucking door then, thank you. Alright, let's go and see Vesna. A poor fucking goose. Hello. Now I know that woman's trace. Vesna and her husband both left traces of themselves at the Vasili's burned-out farmstead. Lucas and Sayli loves his wife. You think he loves her strongly enough to kill for her? Yeah, probably. You're right. It'd be better to ask Vesna about that. It wouldn't, diddly diddly. The shaft of the axe bears a distinct trace of Luca. It's identical to the one on the doorframe of the burned homestead. Ah. For the third time. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please open the door. I'd like to have a chat about your husband. You'd better not be here when he gets back. He's not as talkative or polite as I am. I'm not scared of your fucking husband. It is clear that this is not the first time Vesna has threatened someone with her husband. Luca must not have the best reputation in the village. Hmm. Residents see Luca as a sullen churl and a recluse. However, he seems to have a soft spot. Luca was at Vasili's house on the night the murder and fire took place. I know you're scared, but please just open the door a crack and let me ask one quick question. What do you want? Yes. Please don't be afraid. I just need to know where I can find your husband. He's chopping wood hmm? in the clearing by the forest. Right. Uh. Oh, we got a point. Ah, now we can talk to the wise woman. Uh, makes you lose focus instead of damage. Mm, the four to one ratio. I don't really like the sound of that. Although I mean that could come in handy in a. Prickly spot. 
Bond of Brutality, self-cast, increases the damage from the Salutor's next attack. Um, by 50%. 6% uh, chance of slowing the enemy's actions. Perfectionism makes every attack on the enemy deal the maximum possible damage on that. The next is... Okay. Let's go back and speak to the old woman. You've been going in so many circles, your head will spin. I know. What? What do you mean? Oh, fuck off then. Well then, I... Okay now, why'd you say to go to beat the old woman? There's a note to say. Are you sure there's a note in here that I haven't looked at? Oh, whatever. I'm going to the woods. Again. Well, this time it's a matter of life and death. How is your search going? Almost finished. I know who's attracting the Bukavach. Can you reveal that secret? It's Luca. It has to be Luca. Do you still want to catch that Salvador? That yes, cat. absolutely. Despite the risk? Yeah. I hope I can persuade you to come with me. Persuade. That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I give my word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hear? We're going to see Luca Bogosian. That was a cat. Do you hear that? I need to see that cat when I get back to the village. Anything, uh... no. Oh god, look how many of them there are. I'm not here to fight. We are. Luca! How do you get it so quick? Oh fuck. You shouldn't have threatened my wife. I didn't! Why did you do this? I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who brought the Salitor here. The spirit that you all say arrived in the village after Vasily's death. The Salitor is what's making fear consume you all and making you hot-headed. And it's because of your flaw, which has been within you since the murder took place. A murder might just be about to take place. Cut off his head. Ha! What? Tear off his head before he opens his mouth again! Oh, she's evil. Unless you're the one that killed Duh. him. And I'd do it again if I could. Why? Get out of here! No. Oh, here God. You are. Vesna's flaw is mine, and you are mine. Oh, look at it now! It's not gonna be easy. And now you ask me for the... Well, I'm gonna say balance, because I don't want a challenge. <laughs> That's fine. Fighting wild salutors. To defeat a wild salutor, you must get rid of the shadows that protect him. Oh, God. Vanquishing the shadows will weaken him, but the weaker he is, the more fiercely he will fight back. The bar tells you when the wild salutor sends more enemies against you. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. So we've got to get rid of him before we can get to him. Ah, right.
Uh, is that going to do any... Oh, it does a bit. Batch has caused you to enter the suffering state. States can have a benign or potentially deadly effect. Read their descriptions carefully. Oh, tits. Oh, jeez. Receive two damage at the end of the every round. Oh, fuck off, like. Anything about our fists. Oh my god, giddy shit. Oh. It's not gonna be easy. I want a sword, is what I want. How do I get rid of these then, or do I not? I need help. That'll do. Wait a minute. Oh fuck, what does that mean? Why won't you tell me? Oh tits. <gasps> oh tits. Titty titty tit tit titty titty tit tit tit. Quite a flaw. Uh. Vim. Oh my god. You lose. You going crazy again. You blind fool. A little faith, Thaumaturge. Focus on what's true. My voice is true. I am the truth, you see. Look. We did it! Taming a Salutor. You defeat uh, Book of Ash, the Deed Dimension Salutor, but you cannot tame him on your own. Rasputin comes to your help. Uh, the untamed Salutor won't obey your orders, stops you from developing, and weakens your perception. What? Fortunately, Rasputin soothes his anger. You achieved the unachievable. Now then. Unbelievable. How do you feel? Are you all right? Well, I don't think I'm hallucinating, but that means I'm currently facing a crowd of furious lumberjacks with axes, so I'd say I've been better. What? What? I'm telling the truth. I do it again. None of you understand anything. It's because of this magician. It's his fault. The magician didn't kill Vasily. He didn't bring the evil here! You're a witch! 
Do the steak with her! Yeah, no, Do wait the steak! a minute. No. We're not and having you, that. Why are you just standing there? Are you just letting them do this? Fine. I'll handle it myself. I did it before, and I can do it now. Now, wait a minute, everybody. What, what have you done? Go. You don't need to see this. No, we're not burning her. <sighs> no, fucking wait a minute. Prevent Luca from making rash decisions. Force Vesna to flee. Remind Luca of the proof that he loves Vesna. <clears throat> um I kind of want to force her I know she <laughs> is an arsehole but I don't want them to fucking burn her either so <sighs> fuck it I'm gonna do that get out of here Leave me alone! Out of my way! You've already done enough! No! Nope. No, not yet. Ah, I can take you through on if I can beat that fucking chainy twat. Maybe. <laughs> ah, selecting yourself a salutor. You can preview both your and your salutor skills. This will help you plan an attack. <gasps> right, okay. You can summon another salutor at any time. A green frame around the salutor's image means they are exceptionally effective in a fight with a given enemy. Read the description above the salutor to find out why they will be useful. Focused deprivation will be more effective against the enemy. Oh, that's the one we've already got. Okay, I see. Right. Oh, what's that? Old wound. Suffering receives damage three to four at the end of every turn. Oh, now then, baby. Is that it? Oh, you fucking weed. Oh, 27! Did you fucking see that? Oh, 
fucking have it! <laughs> Send a telegram at the railway station. You're waving out. Oh. Why am I suddenly at the railway station? Traveller. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know when the train arrives? The postmaster said it's usually no more than an hour late, so it should be here any moment. I got a tougher question for you. Well, uh, pardon? Will this train get me close to Albuquerque? I'm afraid that's a notion of Fucking hell do I know? Even to the ocean, you've got a ways to go. Thank you. Ever since I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, I can't get my bearings. The things I've seen, sir. Places I've been. I just can't get to Albuquerque. Right. I wanted to send two telegrams, one to Warsaw and one to Paris. Mr. Shulsky, I was meant to send for you when the driver came to get the mail. Why? Oh, fuck. My condolences about your father. Oh, well, whatever, I don't care. As long as it's not the sister. Oh, boy. My father's dead. Do you still want to send something? No <sighs> oh boy. Did you come to say goodbye to me? More like to share my fear. Your condition yesterday, after the fight with that Bukovac. It troubled me. I don't think my treatments are having a long-lasting effect. And you don't look the best. Do you feel all right? Well, I've just had some bad news. I wasn't telling. I don't see why not. I've just heard that my father is dead. My condolences. After your treatment, when I was hallucinating, I saw him. I heard his voice for the first time in years. I'm sure it was him. A strange feeling. Maybe he came to say goodbye. Maybe it was his last chance to speak to you. A prophecy. Mm. I hope not. What do you intend to do now? It's a good question. Just a moment ago, I was thinking about Vienna, or Budapest, and going on from there to Paris, but now... I've got to get to Warsaw first. What about you? Thanks to you. I don't think I have anything else to do here. Oh, well, I had a little then. time to think about what I saw in your mind. Tell me, Victor. Have you ever seen a human skull cracked open on the cobblestones? <laughs> I don't think he's threatening us. I haven't. I have. The skull of Franz Ferdinand himself. With his brain spilling out onto the sidewalk. I also saw the white steps in Odessa running with blood. A battlefield blanketed in lethal fog. With faceless beings emerging from it. This hasn't happened yet. But I saw it as clearly as I see you now. Thanks to you, I know that I can stop it. I know that I am part of history, and I can change it. Even at the cost of scorn, contempt, or my life. You promised me a favor, so Warsaw sounds perfect. Fuck! Well, you're not invited. <laughs> you're not fucking coming with me. A now then was that just like the prologue? 
feel like, like two hours nearly. It doesn't feel like two hours. I should end the video, but I kind of want to keep playing. <laughs> it's also getting late. Uh, now then, stop that. Last stop, Warsaw. Time to wake up. It's clouding over. The weather Look is out of my mood. Aside from the circumstances of the funeral bringing you back, you hadn't thought of ever returning here? Mm. I definitely didn't expect I'd be coming to my father's funeral so early i've noticed you two had certain differences in your views on life yes especially on my life but admittedly that's not a very exciting discovery is that all you've learned about me on our journey you drool in your sleep any thinking there about warsaw <laughs> It's nice we've got a friend, a travelling pal. Workers are striking. They want to take advantage of the Tsar's visit to Orsi. The protests are being violently suppressed. Last week, around a dozen people were killed. Polish Socialist Party militants attacked a train. They stole money, bonds and explosive materials. They're also suspected of robbing a transport of... Dutch bombing? The Socialists in Warsaw must look pretty sharp then. Further along, we've got murders, muggings, and poverty. The newspapers feed on sensation. Remember that in darkness, even a small spark can be seen clearly. Even I can feel hope from all the people riding with us. Can't you? Hmm. Tell him what you sensed in the passengers on your journey. Even without my powers, I can tell that hope is bringing people here from all three partitions. Miners, steamworkers, governesses, maids, speculators, thieves. I've forgotten to read a few of our fellow passengers' possessions, and I know that hope can have many faces. Will you share that knowledge with me? Yeah. There's a terrified woman riding with us. She's either running away or in hiding. I think that gentleman is smuggling something, because excitement is all mixed up with guilt inside him. In this dandy, oh, he's like going this. whoring. What? If there's something I've learned in life, Victor, it's never to neglect the whores. Orso and Obelain, welcome to Varsava. I said that I about think the time's come to ask where you plan to stay. I'll let you know when I come up with something. Together. Oh, 
I thought she was going to be mad then. She looked like she was going to get pissy. It's your father's funeral. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to, but I I, I kind of have to because it's getting late and uh, I've got to edit this. Uh, but it won't be too long before the next one's out. I I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Oh my god, it's absolutely fantastic. And I knew it would be when I played the demo. This felt when I played the demo yonks ago. The fighting felt really difficult, but in this it felt a bit easier, which I'm happy about. Because I got I think when I played the demo, I got a bit stressy, but this is fucking brilliant. The turn-based combat is fantastic. The graphics are well sexy. Um, <laughs> oh, I love reading all the lore. I like reading all the letters. I just really, I really genuinely like it. I, I don't really know too far ahead what I'm doing, but um, we will continue with this. There will be probably another video within, I don't know, a, a couple of days after this one comes out. So... I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Ta-ra!